Ella May, Heart on My Sleeve Tour, Stop yes. 2, yes. Providence, Rhode Island. Yes. Thanks for having us. Thank you for being here. So we're going to get to a lot tonight. We're going to get to the tour. We're going to get to music. But you mentioned in a previous interview that you love tour bus life. So yes. it just started. <laughs> How's it been so far? Um, we're on a brand new bus. Um, it's very, very comfy. Um, my, I have two buses, and my second bus is a double-decker. Um, so it's like how it is in England. Um, and I think they just brought them over to the States. Um, so that's fun. Also, that's a brand new one. No one's been on that one. Um, we've obviously only had one stop, so we've really only been on the bus once so far. Um, but I love it. I, I prefer it in terms of traveling, like to go to the airport and to go through security and check your bags and all of that stuff. It's just a lot longer where you can get on the bus and just go to sleep. So, and it's comfy. The, I feel like the motion, um, rocks you to sleep really. So yeah. Anything you forgot or are you good? No, I think I'm good. We, we like stock up the bus with whatever everyone wants. We have water, we have tea. We just got a kettle cause I can't live without tea. So, um, yeah, it's chill. Did you finish your honor? Oh my God. Yes, I did. What'd Wait, what did you think of the ending? When did I say that I was watching your honor? Don't I worry love about this. It. Yes, yes. I love interviewers that like ask me questions that nobody else asked me. Oh my God, I did. Yes. I Don't spoil it for anyone. Okay, yeah. No, I won't spoil it. But I will say, obviously, I've watched both seasons now. The end of season one completely spun me. I was like, what is going on? I didn't expect it at all. And then season two, I feel like was a little bit slower. Um, but it was still interesting. There was just, there's so many moving parts in that show. I feel like there's so many main characters almost that there's so many storylines to like keep up with, but I did finish it and I did love it. And it is actually one of my favorite, favorite shows. I'm not a big TV person. So, um, yeah, it was great. Are you sad that it's over because they wrapped it up and the, the show's done? See, I thought so. Yeah. And someone was like, no, there's going to be a season three. And I'm like, I don't know. Cause where would they go? from there I didn't know that now I've just found that out yeah I'm very sad I'm with you though too I didn't know how they were going to get to the end of it but yeah they, they did a pretty good they job did, I think they did a great they, job there's always room for a movie though yeah. right there is always room who was your favorite character I mean it's tough to not say Brian Cranston yeah he, he, like incredible amazing just incredible like it, Brian Cranston if you're listening to this <laughs> LMA and I say you need to make a movie yes, for this right yes now. that show was actually one of my favorites and I've never seen Breaking Bad I know everyone I'm probably one of the only people on this earth that hasn't seen Breaking Bad so don't kill me <laughs> but, start it tonight yeah I think I'm, I'm I just feel like I'm so I hate having to try and like I know it's done so but like how many seasons is it five I just feel like how am I going to catch up to five seasons you're on tour right I now I mean true I don't have anything this is better the perfect to do, time for it Breaking Bad I was actually going to give you another recommendation but I'm not going to right now I have to watch Breaking, Breaking Bad Breaking Bad's yeah. next and I, I, I my brother is like he loves Breaking Bad and he's always told me to watch it and I, I don't know why I started with Your Honor but um, I'm going to watch it yeah your current radio single right now is This Is, yes. which obviously you co-wrote. So what does this song mean to you? Oh my God, this song is so fun. It almost reminds me of when I was recording Boot Up. Like it's just like an innocent love song, um, but it feels really good. And surprisingly enough, you know, the deluxe didn't drop that long ago. So I was kind of apprehensive to put the deluxe songs in my set. Um, and then when I was in Connecticut uh, the other night, they sang that song like it was booed up. So I was just really, really happy um, for that response. And it made me almost kind of love it even more. So you added three songs to the project. Yes. I know that you previously mentioned that you had have so many to choose from. Yeah. How did those three make this cut? It was actually supposed to be more. Um, but the music business is the music business and clearing stuff and like getting stuff done on time and stuff is very, very, very frustrating. Um, but the three that we did end up with, one of them initially was supposed to be on the actual album, like not even the deluxe edition. And again, clearing took ages. So I was happy that we finally got it to be cleared for um, the deluxe. But those were three of my favorites of the all the other ones that we had recorded. And I was just like, if I'm going to put any out, those were the first three that came to my mind. So this is really cool for me to be able to talk to someone so early on mm -hmm. in your tour. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is four years removed from your last yeah. tour. Yeah. So all of that rehearsal work goes into it. You have your first show in Connecticut. Mm -hmm. Did it all go to plan? Oh my God. It was probably the smoothest first show I've ever had. Like normally the first couple shows of tour, you're like, you just never know. There's always something's going to go wrong. Well, normally, and uh, that's kind of what everybody expects. So I was like almost looking for it <laughs> in Connecticut and everything was so smooth. Nothing went wrong to my knowledge anyway, because I know my team try and keep everything like under wraps so I don't get flustered. Shout out to Bianca. Uh, yeah, shout out to Bianca. Um, but 
everything went completely smooth. Like we were running on time, sound was great, uh, meet and greet went great, everybody was there to have a good time, nothing happened like while I was on stage. It was honestly incredible, but yeah. So you mentioned this is, was there another song that kind of stood out to you where, that you didn't expect the reaction? Um, on stage? Yeah, so I still have um, some of my debut album songs in the set. So I knew like, obviously those are older and people know those. So I knew those would be like, would have great um, fan reactions. But to be honest, all of them, I was a little apprehensive. I didn't know how it was gonna go. Um, you know, I don't, I don't necessarily know what people know from the, um, from the sophomore album. Um, so I was like, I don't know if they're gonna sing along, if they're gonna know the words or whatever, but literally, Every single song, they knew every single word. It was incredible. Well, speaking of that, I do want to ask you, you mentioned Boot Up, yes. uh, Grammy <laughs> Award winning song. You know that song's coming up, right? The crowd doesn't, but no, you know yeah. it's coming up. Uh -huh. What is that feeling like as an artist to know I'm about to get them? Because wherever we go, whether it's on Hot 106, yeah. whether I'm out of wherever, people get in their feelings yeah. when this song is being played. So what do you see out sta on stage? It's just an amazing feeling to know that like, it's a it's a consistent reaction like it doesn't matter like you said it doesn't matter where i go it doesn't matter if i'm out the country in the country it doesn't matter if people are old it doesn't matter if people are young um it doesn't like it literally doesn't even matter it just shows that like music is so universal but it's just the same reaction every time everyone gets so excited everyone knows every single word it's just uh it's an incredible feeling like i obviously i know it's coming so the anticipation like hypes me up um every time I know it's coming. And with the way that we kind of have it in, in my show, there's like an introduction and I feel like people don't pick it up straight away. Um, so I'm just standing there like waiting, like, okay, I'm going to see the click. moment. And then I see people like, wait, and people are looking around and they're like, oh, okay. And then it like, everyone goes crazy. So it's just, it's really fun. It's also such a fun song in general. So to perform it is even more fun. Um, and to see everyone's reactions every time is, is great. So lastly, the I did see you perform that song and many more at mm -hmm. Royale in Boston four years ago. Yes. Your opener was Keanu Lede. Yes. And you guys have a song dropping literally tomorrow. We actually do. So yes. talk to us about Jealous. Oh my God, Jealous. Um, we actually recorded that song a while ago. Um, me and Keanu are good friends and uh, probably from, I, I knew her before the, before the debut tour, um, but we've kept in great close contact since. Um, and she's been in her recording process, I think for her album for a, quite a while. So she sent me the song ages ago and I was like, yeah, I love it. And um, even the other day we were having a conversation and I was like, I'm not really, really a jealous person. And she was like, I'm not really a jealous person either. And I'm like, well, we have a song called Jealous coming out. So <laughs> let's just act like we are. Um, but it's really, um, it was super organic. She sent it to me. Um, uh, I was out of town at the time that she sent it to me, but once I got back, um, I recorded it for her. So we recorded it separately, um, but nonetheless, it's still super, super special and she's excited about it. And I'm excited for her also, cause I love her debut album. So I'm excited to hear all of the new music that she has too, cause I haven't heard all of it. Um, but I'm just excited that she wanted me uh, to be a part of it.